Welcome to the introduction to formulas lesson. Formulas in ThoughtSpot allow us to create derived columns that don't exist in the underlying database we have connected to. This is a compelling feature for doing on-the-fly calculations during a search. In this lesson, we will review the two main types of formulas, the locations where you can create them and get a brief understanding of the formula editor. Formulas can be broken down into two main types. First, we have row-wise formulas which act on an individual row and return one result per row. Some examples include addition, subtraction, and if-then-else. Aggregation formulas combine multiple rows to return a single result. Examples include cumulative sum, moving average, and standard deviation. You can create formulas in the Search Data section of ThoughtSpot. To do so, click Add under the Data Source panel and select Formula. You can also create formulas in data models as well. Formulas in models act as derived columns so that anyone who uses the model as a data source will see the formula as just another column. Formulas are created using the Formula Editor. Start by naming the formula and then start building the formula in the Formula Editor. As you type, Relevant suggestions in the form of column names or operators appear to help you. Choose one if it meets your needs. Elements that make up the formula are also color-coded. For example, operators and functions are color-coded blue, while the name of a column is color-coded purple, etc. To help you with the syntax of the formulas, select a formula type and then a function.